my garden is about 95 95% complete. This is where I want to set my competition aquascaping aquarium. So there, there was a smaller one, a six feet. Maybe I should have gotten that one. That thing's like seven feet. Actually, it's like eight feet tall. So yeah, I'm gonna need to grab a ladder. These are definitely great. Look at them all. They're all working. How's it going, GG family? Uh, hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and inside. Anyways, uh, before we get to today's video, we want to throw in a positive comment shout out. Uh, this one's going to be to Feldman87. And Feldman, uh, this is from the No Sugar Fasting video uh, that was done. And Feldman writes, I noticed intermediate fasting is really popular on Reddit. It's a long comment, so, <laughs> but it's a good one. Uh, I'm not sure if I could pull it off, but whatever. Counting calories has been working for me. I went from 304 at the start of 2018 to 187 at the beginning of March of this year. Uh, not quite as fast, but I kept it up for two years and continued to do so. I think the most important part is just find something that works and you can stick to it. Damn so long. good job for you, Phil. That's, uh, that's amazing, actually. Um, but I'm glad you enjoyed that video and I hope you enjoy this one. What's up, Gigi family? It's a late Friday night right now. Getting ready for bed, a little tired. But as some of you guys already know, of, from the previous video. Uh, my garden is about 95 95% complete. I can plant it now and everything. It's, it's already got the soil and gravel, the lines all ran, the drip line, the, I mean the micro sprinklers. Everything's done. I can start planting now, but there's a few little things I want to do. Cosmetic, add a little more gravel, top off soil a little more, and put in um, some rock salt and stuff like that. And besides that, uh, I kind of have an idea of what I want to grow and what they need to grow. And so, I need some trellises and I want to spice up with this trellises and make it a little more artsy. Um, they're almost all in and I want to add in a little arch because I plan on putting in a wisteria plant. Um, but I got some stuff in right now. Uh, we're going to check it out, see what I can do tonight and I'll start assembling it up and assembling it in the garden tomorrow. and then, uh, more stuff should come in and hopefully I should have everything here by next week and then we will just start planting away and then get ready for the season and Get ready for our harvest. I'm just so super excited. Anyways, let's check out what I have and see what we can do tonight These are kind of trellises right here. This, these are for my um, One is for my Japanese eggplant and the other one's for my Thai eggplant. Let's open up and let's take a look Can't wait to get my garage cleaned out and turn into more workplace. I kind of want to put a little I um, kind of want this. This is where I want to set my competition aquascaping aquarium. But I have to level out where I put the ground because this, the garage is a, a little, just a little bit slow, and you don't want that when you're for your aquarium. I know from past experience that little, that little slow <laughs> can cause your tank to burst. How that happen before? skinnier than I thought. The tops, I mean, uh, so there's two of them here, two different sizes. I use a smaller one, probably for a Thai eggplant. Yeah, small one for a Thai eggplant. It doesn't get as tall as the Japanese eggplant. So here's the first one right here. Little bird, that's why it came in the bag. I dropped it and then Nick and got ugly. Keep it so great. Okay, that's one. Alright, let's do the second one. We trust up. I think this really big one is my big trellis for my um for my tomato tree. Because the tomato plant I got is a indeterminate so it constantly keeps growing and growing it's a cherry tomato plant and it grows into a huge massive tree it, it can be immense it grow all year long but i got this one this is about seven feet tall so yeah seven feet tall and then at the very top it's kind of like spans out to like 48 inches or something but let's take a look at it little holes right here for the thing connection pipes Here's the top up here. So, 
Yeah, these pieces right here. Like I said, it creates like a bowl on top. So I think this is the rings. Let's take a look at them. So there, there was a smaller one, a six feet. Maybe I should have gotten that one. This is pretty massive, holy cow. Here is the base. All right, see that right there? Let's connect them together, see how it is. Sometimes don't you hate it when you have to connect those things together? Like you get down to the last one, you can't get on, but anyways. Look, this thing is, this thing is six feet tall right here. This thing, tops over there. So let's take a look at what this one looks, what this last piece is. Okay, see it? There they are. Okay, so this side is hollow right here. Okay, I see how this works. Okay, okay. So it goes like this. Let me lean this over. So this hollow top, this hollow top right here, this right here, connects to this one right here. I won't connect these tonight. I'll leave them for tomorrow. Now that I have an idea what that looks like. And we'll start assembling tomorrow. Morning guys. Now that um, it's sunny, let's, let's grab our, um, our trellises. Let's take them in the backyard and let's start setting them up where we want them, all right? So one's gonna be Thai eggplant and one is gonna be for a regular eggplant. I don't want them too close to each other. Or I don't know if they'll crossbreed or not. But that's not what I want. Um, so, smaller ones for the Thai eggplant. Okay, the bigger ones for the regular Japanese eggplant. Let's see where I'm gonna put these. I think for this one, I do it right here. Why well, I'm choosing this location because the trust me right here. I don't want like two tall things right next to each other. So like tall, medium, short. Now, now I'm going to grab the big trails. So when I sell this symbol, I'm going to put it right on there. That's for the tomatoes. This thing is pretty heavy and big. That's something at the top. So I have to get my hat on. It's pretty sunny out here. I don't know if you guys heard me, but initially I was planning on taking the trellises, removing the soil, put them in, and bury them. But I thought over time they'll start sinking, so I'm just trying to push them down. The soil is still soft and it still wobbles. So I'm a little afraid of, especially when it starts to get really windy like right now. It'll be okay after things settle down. Okay guys, like I said, that thing's like seven, eight, actually it's like eight feet tall. So, yeah, I'm gonna need to grab a ladder. Actually no, it's like seven feet tall, so I need to grab a ladder. I'm going to try to get the upper ring up there in one piece. If not, I got to take it apart. Okay guys, so that didn't work. 
So I wonder if I'm gonna make it one whole piece first and then put it up. Yeah, I'm gonna put these top pieces in. Okay, that's why I hold it in place. Now I really put some resistance on the ring so it keeps together. There we go. And I need to reposition these legs. That looks like a UFO or something. It looks very flimsy right now, but hopefully when everything grows, all the weight puts it down. Alright. Sprinklers on. Let me show you guys the micro sprinklers in action. So take a look here. So underneath the PVC is ran. Then it ran connects to these tubes right here. And then on top of the tubes is those micro sprinklers. You can adjust some direction and then adjust the flow right here. Let's go to the one that we're concerned. Actually, this one needs a little bit more water. So we're gonna crank it up a little bit. Oh, I turned it off. Too much water. That's just about right. All the beds are like they're watering. Good, good. 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 Now here's one that we need. It's all watering good. I'm going to have to reduce the water to this one though, because these are these are a type of cactus, you know, it's dragon, dragon fruit. And that's too much water. Oh, that doesn't look good. Maybe like cold or something, but for a couple weeks they didn't get water because the yard is being done. And stuff, but yeah. Now they're definitely buried in soil. Good to go. Now, let's try to get the dirt compact in this one. So we're just going to aim those sprinkles a little bit. Help it. Harden up. Let's aim it down a little bit right here. So, why I decided to switch from these to from drip system to these micro sprinklers? I think these micro sprinklers are a lot better. The drips, they were okay, but they just weren't as effective as these. And sometimes they'll get clogged, you wouldn't know, but these are definitely great. Look at them all. They're all working. Awesome. The garden is almost up to 100% to fully operational. I still worry about this thing, especially once it gets weight on it. It's still wobbling a lot. But it's very solid. Alright guys. So that's it for right now. I gotta wait for the rest of the trellis to come in before we can finish that. And a little bit more gravel and more soil to top off. Then we're gonna start planting. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Till next time.